I'm Mike Kennard, I'm a Head of Cyber and Program Manager at Cardiff University. My name is Shari Kakum, I'm a Global Field CTO with HPE and I'm part of uh, Cyber Resilience and uh, Data Protection Team. Paula Lender Swain, Public Sector Sales Lead for the UK HPE organisation. The most outdated view I find is that um, cyber resilience is, a, is an IT problem. It's, it's the IT department's um, issue to deal with, but actually it's everybody's problem and cyber resilience should really be a capability across an organisation. So the most outdated assumption when it comes to cyber resilience today is, I'll say there are few, but I'll start with one thing, that just having a protected copy does not mean that you can recover. So that's the biggest outdated assumption, I'll say, because having a good protected copy is the number one. But how sure you are, in case you are hit, you'll be able to recover from that copy, and how long it will take you to recover from that copy. We all think about uh, our success rate for backups, but if, we ask, if I ask you a question, what is your recovery success rate? That's a big gap, because we never perform mass data recovery exercises. So just having a protected copy will not get you there, but having a protected copy that's isolated, protected, and then being able to recover like regularly to be able to document what are your recovery SLAs looking like in case of, uh, in case of a cyber attack. So that's what I'll say, uh, focus on uh, recovery aspect as well as uh, protection. Most outdated assumption, the assumption that board level individuals have in terms of what their recovery plan is. Um, and I would say it's a bit like a fire drill. Um, every Monday you go into the office and uh, the fire um, bell goes and you think, okay, I can hear it, I know what's gonna happen. But actually, how often do you actually evacuate the building? And then when you evacuate the building, what's the rules with everybody coming back in again? I think it's exactly the same with cyber resilience in terms of, we hear the drill, we understand the threat, and as the threat goes on, maybe we get a little bit reticent about, well, it hasn't happened yet, and so I'm okay. Uh, and then when it does happen, if and when it does happen, uh, you know, how do you recover? You know, you can get everybody out of the building, you have to still get them back in again, and, and recovery is, is a really big thing. And I think in our experience at HPE, uh, we definitely, definitely understand that the recovery time is a lot longer than people uh, than people imagine, um, and that's why we have developed a portfolio of products to help people with their resiliency, but also their recovery, um, which is which is what I speak to customers about on a daily basis. So talk about that capability that I mentioned earlier. I, we should be educating board level and, and further down around their responsibilities and um, around cyber resilience, um, what they need to um, bring, bring back their systems, understanding what they need um, and not having them to rely on IT to do it because we, we won't know, we'll be busy bringing back things. Um, they need to understand what their capability is. Cyber resilience to me is like to be able to continue your operations uh, in case of a cyber attack. In case you are hit, you should be able to continue your operations or recover very quickly. That's what cyber resilience is. One word summarising this for me is risk. And when we talk about risk in a company, often we talk about risk in terms of supplier churn, supply chain, financial risk, um, all sorts of different, you can do a SWOT analysis of those risks, health and safety, but very rarely do we talk about cyber risk. And when we do talk about that, it's down to the IT team uh, to understand uh, what that's all about and how to recover. But actually it is the board level risk, cyber, uh, IT systems uh, are being used by every single department, HR, finance, all of those departments, the departments that, that, that are out there talking to your end customers, departments in your supply chain, your partner organisations, they are all using it. And it is not the IT department um, solely um, looking at those risks. So risk, I think, is the, is the biggest thing for me and it's broad understanding of that term. Uh, AI has definitely increased and spread the threat landscape um, and our defence strategy is, is catching up but we need to do it in a controlled and measured way.